Okay, here we go. I'm going to show you how to do porcupine trail. It's a double diamond. And here's the gondola. I'm going to go down. Here we go. It's just like you're doing needles. Go down here. All the way down. It's a pretty technical trail. You have to be extremely careful, especially your first time going down. The first time I went down, there's a drop that I almost fell. There we go. You see right there? Needles trail. You turn right here. Wow. I slid off of that. Got some loose gravel, darn it. So anyway, you go down here. Here we go. Okay, switch back right here. Let me increase my volume of the music here. Okay. The weather is really nice, really nice here. Down in the valley, down at the bottom with the Gondo Sats, it's a lot warmer than here. Here is like perfect. Not too hot, not too cold. I love it. the signs sign show you where to go. Just follow the sign. Remember once again, this is a very technical, technical run. be extremely dangerous. Okay, so here, it's uphill, I have to 
put it on an easier gear. Pretty loose. I have to stand up a little bit. My back tire was skidding. I had to shift the weight a little. There's another sign saying Porcupine Trail, number three. We just follow the signs. Signs. Some places you go to, you have to keep your eyes open for rattlesnakes. You just leave them alone, and they'll leave you alone. Sometimes you wait for, have to wait for the rattlesnake to cross the street. Cross the trail. There you go, pretty technical here. It can be pretty scary, I'll tell you that. Um, I'm on a 29er, and it's a lot easier, I'll tell you that. Okay, next time I, I could have ratcheted right past it. I've done it a lot of times. I don't know why I didn't do it last time. Anyway, here we go. I'm clipped in. Here I go. More technical and fun. I'm on a bike with the dropper seat post, which makes it a lot easier. When I'm going down, I drop my seat down when I'm going up. It's up, it's really easy to remember. Downhill, seat down, uphill, seat up. There we go. Wow, what a beautiful mountain. What a beautiful day. Beautiful air. Everything is beautiful. Life is beautiful. When I come up here to the mountain, it really helps me appreciate life. I feel calm and one with nature. Okay, nice switch back. Wow, look at what's in front of me. Technical and beautiful, both of them together. Technical trail, beautiful mountain. I love both. The technical helps me be a better rider. And the mountain strengthens my inner core. I'm biking, I'm scanning the terrain the whole time. We actually learned that in Snow Basin class. Snow Basin class teaches you how to how to uh, scan the whole terrain. There's 
They do drills on that. All right. Oh, man, check that out. I, I'm not even pedaling. I'm just using gravity. My engine is driving me down. I'm using a technique they teach in the class where I'm separating my upper body from my lower body so I'm not one with the bike I can go like that anytime Okay, here we go. Wow, wow. See right there the sign again? To the right. Follow the sign. I do what I'm told and I keep out of, myself out of trouble. The sign says stop, I stop. The sign says turn left, I turn left. I'm not going to do the opposite because I don't need to do that. It's like, it's like I don't have to stick my head in the trash can to know if it stinks. Wow, this is technical. You see all this? Whoa! Thank you, 29er. Whoa! It just gobbles up all the rocks. Oh my heck. My 29 inch tires love rocks. They eat them up for breakfast. If I hadn't taken the mountain biking class, I'd probably be crying right now, walking on my bike. This is really technical, I'm telling you. But because I did, I'm having so much fun. Okay. There's a gondola passing under the gondola, the gondolas. There's another sign right there. You see it I had? It says Porcupine Trail number three to the right. But anyway, there are people that take a lot of people that take that don't take the class that do this trail. I don't know how many, but I know there are some that do it. But I don't see a lot of people on this trail. Every time I've gone down this trail, I've, I've never seen anyone come in the whole time. The whole way. 
Usually I'm here by myself. All the times I came, I was here by myself for now. I saw a few people here and there, but I don't even know if they're going to get on this trail. It's very technical. I hope more people can try it. I don't know, maybe they don't know about it. Anyway, hopefully this video will let more people know about this trail. Wow, look at this nice little rock trail right here. Good job, Snow Basin, for preparing this. Thank you. Okay. Rock, rock, rock. Ratchet over it. More rocks. Here we go. I love rocks. And they love me. Woo! Okay. Now, sharp switch back right there. Okay, let me fix my sleeve. It keeps coming down. There's so many rocks, so many bumps that every time I come here, I have to fix this. I like this sleeve. It helps me not get a tan. Doesn't tell. I don't have to put suntan in my arms. Keeps my it keeps me cool too. I hope you'll leave comments in this video. Okay, here we go. I heard there was a big moose here today. Near about t nearby Tower 13, which is about to the left over there. Maybe I'll see him. I've seen quite a few moose here before. Deer. Um, deer, this is where I have to be careful. Big down. Do you see that? First time I went that, that, down that one, I almost fell. It was really scary. I Because I, I didn't know it was there. It just comes out of nowhere. Bring some water with you, it helps a lot. I always carry water in my backpack. I have a platypus bottle. I drink half of my body weight in ounces every day. And I get to drink a lot of water while I'm mountain biking. Be very careful, sometimes you catch loose dirt. You saw what happened to me in the beginning? And I've gone down there many times, I didn't, I didn't have that happen to me, but today it did. I slid off a little. Look how pretty this is. Flowers. It's like a, a, an arranged garden here on the trail. <laughs> Everything's so balanced. I love it. Beautiful mountain to my left. Man, what else do I want? This is paradise, people. 
paradise right here on earth. So many beautiful places all around the world you can go to. Okay, here we go. It, it gets pretty technical. There even be some spots that are even more technical. Just have to be very careful. If you want to be safer, you take the class. Forgive me if I talk a lot about the class, but that class changed my life. That's why I talk about it a lot. No offense to anyone. But I've seen a, lot of, uh, seen a lot of mountain bikers that have been biking for a long time. And I'll tell you, I've seen them make a lot of mistakes that we teach in the class not to do. And it's a matter of time and they're going to be down and hurt. I've seen a lot of them not resting, resting the wrong way. Hello, two mountain bikers. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Okay, so here, lower gear. If I'm going up and I'm not on the right gear and I can turn around, I turn around and go down. When I'm going down, I change the gear. So I'm easy and nice on my gear. See, here's another porcupine number three sign. Down. Uh, this is the perfect tune. I'm like riding, a, riding down the mountain. Whee! Wow, this is beautiful. Oh my word, the vegetation, breathtaking. Oh man, it's a live postcard right in front of me. Look at this. Shuckleberry fan. Woo! That, oh, that was a little jump. My buddy Lyle loves to do those. One more. <laughs> Whee! Switch back! See right here? I went too far to the right and my tire went in there and I fell. But it was, I, you know, it was really soft dirt. I went too, too much to the right last time I came here. So anyway... They say they're, my best friend Don said, there are two, three types of people in this world. People that learn from their mistakes, people that learn from others' mistakes, and people that never learn. My goal is to learn from others' mistakes and from my mistakes. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh man. Look, a whole bunch of a little bumps. Bump! Oh! One more! Wee! Wee! Oh, that was fun. Now here's a tight switch back, okay? Snow Basin class teaches how to do those with really good. They teach you, you do drills in the parking lot and then you go to the trail and practice. Fun. Up, 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 up. There you go. One more. Technical switch back. I just have my fi one finger on each brake and I control the speed. Anyway, another technique, another drill they taught me. Oh, look how calm this is. Shy.
This is like a trail waltz I'm enjoying. Dancing on the trail. Oh, it feels so good here. This vegetation. We go hot and then cool and cold and nice contrast. It's like Mother Nature put an AC here, an AC unit over there. Air conditioning. Oh, oh, look at this. You should have seen when these flowers earlier, before the sun burned them. They look like these ones right here. See right there, these? I don't, hopefully you saw those. Now a lot of them dried up. They were just beautiful. I don't know what you call these flowers, but they're like yellow wildflowers. Woo! Oh my word! This is as good as it gets, people. Snow Basin has really awesome trails, I'm telling you. I, my goal is to have a, a video of every trail here. Upload it to the channel. See, porcupine number three. Huh. I'm on the Joy Road. Happy trail. See the nice thing? Oh, what was that? Did you see that animal just crossed in front of me? Bye. My alarm clock has gone off to remind me that I can drink water. I only drink water. Okay, let me stop a little. I'm going to drink water two hours after I eat. If you want to know, ask me, and I'll tell you why. I learned that from a great homeopath. It has to do with your digestion. Okay, here we go. So I can drink as much water as I want now. Oh my word, is this beautiful what? Look at all those trees, per perfectly vertical there on the left. Look at these chairs above me, beautiful view. I love going through this little path here on the trail. Shade, love this shade. Hey, look at this! I come out of this beautiful trail and look, I get a breathtaking view of the mountain right there. Jeez, it's really worth it learning how to how to be able to ride these technical trails so that you can enjoy them on a bike. Whoa, 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 wow, do you see that drop? Dang. I love riding the trails with music that I love. No headphones. Headphones are very dangerous. You can't hear a rattlesnake with headphones. But I have a little speaker here that I absolutely love. Here we go. See that? You can do that easily with the take after taking the class. Depend, it's quarter past five depending, in the afternoon. Depending how well you learn. back. Ooh. Damn. Damn. Okay, here's another one. Check out the switchback. Look at this. 
when you learn to do this once, these switchbacks, they are so much fun. You're not scared. You're having fun. You can't do both at the same time. Or you or you're having fun or you're scared. And that's the thing that keeps people from mountain biking that I've learned so far. There are two things. Number one, or they don't have a bike, or or they scared. Or both. And the class teaches you how to overcome fear and have more fun. There you go. Woo! Man. Ha ha. Okay, look at the switchback. What in the heck? I learned in the class how to have the right, the correct foot forward when I do it. It's different if you're going left or right. Here we go. Well, look, look at this other one. Oh. Wow. This is really technical, guys, and fun. Whoa. Oh, I can even wiggle a little. <laughs> because I'm on the right step. That my teacher taught me. Okay, I'm going to need to adjust my left sleeve now. Because there's so many bumps that it comes down. And I like to have it up. Wow, look at this. Look at everything that's around me here. You don't see this in the city. Not like this. Man, I can feel this good energy from Mother Nature. Sun shining on the top left. The sky above me. You need to treat yourself, not cheat yourself. Treat yourself to a trail. Or you bike it or you hike it. Take a friend with you. Share the joy. Whoop, here we go. It's a pleasure to have you with me on this video. Oh, whoa. Okay, this is the most technical of all, right here. I had a friend of mine that fell right here. We were night bike, biking at night and he didn't have poor lighting and he fell. He got really hurt. And when you go down here, focus on what you want. Don't think about falling. Most people spend all day thinking about what they want, and they attract loads of what they don't want. But the thing you can do is spend all day thinking about what you want. And what I want is to have fun and enjoy this trail. Oh, you see the smoke behind me? <laughs> Not smoke, but dirt. Ah. Whoop. Ha. All this vibration's got to be good for your body. Shaking up all your vessels, you're shaking you up. Whoa. Okay. Here's another technical one. Definitely can't be in the lazy position on that one. Oh, see that? I, I had to use my brakes wisely. I'd go right off. Oh, if you saw me, I have my tongue sticking out like a little kid in the candy store. Not all the time, but it's such a delicious trail. Okay, lower gear, guys. We're going up. You're not all the way down, you stand up a little. Oh. Tons of fun. Oh. Another technical one. Wow, you see that? 
not careful, can go off the trail. She used the brakes. That's the nice thing about mountain biking. You have to be here now. You can't be anywhere else. And that's actually meditation. That's what meditation is, is being here. Now, not thinking about something else. Your mind is here. You're focused here. It's really good for you. You get distracted and bam, you're down. Very careful. Okay, here's another fun one. Check this one out. Go down here. Woo! <laughs> when I break the tire, just turn. My back tire like turns. Do you hear that? <laughs> Here we go! Whee! <laughs> so much fun! Happy, happy! I want everyone to be happy! Everyone! Okay, so I know this trail. I'm changing my... Putting it on an easier gear because I know I'm going to be going up. Here we go. right here. My 29er just gobbled them up. Okay, pretty technical here. Lots of rocks. You can have fun going over them too, or around them, depending what you're riding and your skill. Okay, some water's coming up. Little nice creek, little bridgey. Whee! Boom! Haha! My right sleeve has gone down, people. I need to raise it up. They take turns. Okay, here we go. Put their sleeve up. Okay. Fun, huh? Let's go. Let's keep going. I'll show you the rest of the trail. Nice little water there. Woo Look at these pretty flowers right there.
See, this is a ski run here, isn't it? More nice vegetation. Cool breeze. Switch back, burn. How to do those too. Another one's coming up. Here we go. Wow. Oh, I'm going down the roller coaster. Whee! <laughs> Here I go. Here I go. Oh, stay on the trail. Stay on the trail. Oh, look, check out this burn. Vince loves this burn. Oh, check out this one. Oh, my word, hidden forest. Whee! Roller coaster! Forgive me if my voice is too strong. I'm just having too much fun. <laughs> one more. Woo! Snow Basin Gondolas, Snow Basin Million Dollar, Billion Dollar Lodges right there. Whoa! Oh my word! That was so much fun! Oh, look at this. I love the gondolas. They are beautiful. Look at that. This is a billion dollar world class resort. I waved at the guy in the gondola right there. <laughs> wow! Oh, look at this. This is so beautiful, people. You gotta come here. Serious. Check it out. You've never been here. Oh, okay. Turn right, Arthur. Turn right. I'm going to go straight to where I will wash your bike. <sighs> okay. It is... Let me see here. It is over there. Pretty much the tra... The, yep, it's that one right there. It's half past five in the afternoon. Yep. This way. There you go. Woo! Snow Basin is so nice, they even put a place for you to wash your bike. Look at that. 
right here.